Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to present a simple step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use circuit with search simulation software. Let us assume that you have already installed circuit wizard on your computer. First, on your desktop, double click this icon. Many versions of Circuit Wizard today, but mine I'm using Circuit Wizard 1.5 because I am comfortable with this version. The screen will prompt a black sheet of paper wherein it allows us to create our circuit design. Now this is the toolbars. As you can see, this is this one is delete the object, zoom tool, uh, pan tool, and then graph, and then this is add proof. And then this one is for convert PCB out, and then rotate left, and then rotate right. To start with the layout, click the gallery tab. As you can see, there are there are electronic components available and ready to use depending on your applications. For this tutorial, I will present to you how to make a simple and basic electrical circuit and its function. I will click power supply components, this one. Click and drag the battery component to the sheet and release. Like that. If you want to rotate left, just click this one. Highlights and then click this one. Or rotate left. So, depending on your uh, desired position. Double click the battery to change its values like 5 volts, 6 volts, 9 volts, 24 volts depending on your DC voltage you like. This this time, I'm using 12 volts for our tutorial. Okay. Next, I will add switch in the switch chest components. So, I will select SPDT switch or single post dual through switch then release next is to add resistors to the components by clicking resistors this one like that and then like that so as you can see there is a level automatically assign le the, the circuit tracer assign uh, automatic level like this one b1 sw1 R1 and R2. If you want to add another resistor, the resistor becomes R3. So double click this R1 and then assign value to 10 ohms and then remove this K because we want only ohms. Okay, the other one is uh, 5 ohms and then ohms only with a 1 port watt wattage both. One put what? Then add another component, which is the output components for signal lamp, uh, labeled BL1, filament lamp, labeled LA1. So double clicking this to assign its value to 12 volts and power of one and current of 100 milliampers while LA1 12 volts and then 10 watts okay now connect and wire its parts by clicking and dragging the mouse to its component click 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 release and then click then click 
this one click click and then click so this is how easy click and then click so this one click click and then click so to complete our diagram I will add in the power supply with the ground then connect okay after connecting all the components let us zoom if necessary let's zoom or if not it's okay depending the functions you like so I will zoom this one by click and select the object to zoom in okay then simulate the system by clicking this one run or simulate so as you can see the output LA1 turns on because of the switch allowing LA1 to turn on click the switch 1 to turn on BL1 like this one click so as you can see the switch would determine the bulb and lamp for turning on and off point your mouse to the component to view its voltage and current like that point only do not click current 9.2 92.22 milliamperes power 1.02 watts while LA1 uh, there's no reading only current 0 amperes power 0 watts because this is in an off state while R1 this is on state there's a corresponding value of the color codes and then the current 92.22 milliamperes then power is 85.05 milliwatts while R2 becomes no reading for current and power because this is an off state so if you turn on this one uh, the reading there's a reading in R2 and as well as L L A1 okay if you want to submit to if you want to convert this into PCB layout turn off your simulation and then click this convert to PCB layout click and then click next and then select uh, PCBs it's either single sided or double sided and then I will select single sided tick tracks and then allow me to customize so let I will allow the system to de uh, create their own size next and then next and then convert so automatically the circuit wizard will create your layout so automatic routing completed 100% of the net connection were successfully routed that means to say that your diagram is 100% routed okay so if we want to uh, develop this one into a permanent circuit board or PCB you can develop by transferring this to photo paper and then print with a, a laser printer then transfer it to your PCB so there's a lot of uh, buttons to we click and then back to circuit diagram okay just continue exploring this software by your own circuit application this simulation is beneficial for the online class because simulation results is relatively similar to the actual hands-on output this is essential to the students taking up electrical electronics computer engineering and IT for the understanding of electronics and its function I hope that you learned something about this tutorial for more tutorials on using instruments and other applications watch my other video tutorials on my channel thank you for watching it bye bye